In today's video, checking out the Crazy Tube Circuits Unobtainium Dual Overdrive Pedal. This is a two-in-one that incorporates a dumbbell circuit over here with two separate voicings and the infamous Klon style overdrive over here. What you're about to hear in this intro track is a combination of tones with a few different guitars and I'll be switching between the dumbbell circuits using this little guy over here which plugs in to the side of the pedal. A massive thank you to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Here we go. Let's take a look at the unobtainium up close, starting with the dumbbell side of the pedal. So with the ODS switch up, you're getting that overdrive special style overdrive. So it's a much fatter, thicker tone. And if you want to play lead, that's the setting to use. If you want a cleaner tone, the triple S setting down here is the one to go for. Unique to this circuit over here is the emphasis control. If we turn it this way, it's going to sound much brighter before overdrive. And if we turn it down, it's going to sound thicker and more full. So if you want that classic dumbbell sound, set it to about 11 o'clock and you'll be good to go. This side of the pedal has our Klon Centaur overdrive style circuit. Now the cool thing about this is we get two different options, stock and mod. In the up position, it sounds very reminiscent of my old Klon KTR. Click it down and you're going to get more headroom and more gain, it's pretty wild. And if you don't already have a buffer on your board, you can turn it on or off thanks to this switch over here. Internally, you can also tweak this pedal to make it unique to your particular type of sound. So there's lots to like about this. Again, it's handmade in Greece, and a massive thanks to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. In today's video, I'm plugged into my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier. It's loaded with an eminent Swamp Thing speaker. It's mic'd up with an AEA N22 ribbon microphone and a Sennheiser E906. Let's start off with some low gain tones on the dumbbell side of the pedal, and I'll switch between each of those voicings. Staying on the dumbbell side, I've just added a little bit more drive. We're gonna go for some classic blues tones. Here we go. Let's try the Klon side of the pedal now. I've just cranked up the amplifier a little bit because these Klon circuits, if you're using them on their own, sound great with the tube amp right at the edge of breakup. As you can hear, that's the tone of the Klon. It sounds pretty wild, but let's crank up the gain a little bit more. Let's 
stack both sides of the pedal together using my Stratocaster, and then I'm also gonna show you how dynamic the pedal is by using the volume control on my guitar. <laughs> I've just cranked up the drive a little bit more. One of the things I always look for on a pedal like this that has the Dumble voicing is, can we get a nice big fat bridge pickup tone? Here we go. <laughs> Over to my Telecaster now, we're gonna take a look at the emphasis control. If we turn it to the left, it's gonna sound fuller and fatter. If we turn it to the right, it's gonna sound brighter with less of that low mid sound. Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane, a massive thanks again to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about it. If you're a big fan of a Klon circuit in an overdrive, this absolutely delivers and it sounds very reminiscent to any Klon that I've owned over the years or mystical drive or whatever they're calling it. So it's a Klon in a box on that side basically, so that's what you get. It's extremely loud coming out of my amp. I mic'd up this amp at gig volume and it would have no problems cutting the mix or being stacked into a separate overdrive or distortion pedal. So that's the beauty of this. You can just use it on its own in the combination of your signal chain or in combination with the Dumble channel. By far, at least to my ear, I really love that red ODS channel on this pedal. It had that big full round sound. The Triple S one also sounds really good as well. It's nice and clean. If you want to sort of transform your amp a little bit, you can do that. But overall, this is a really usable pedal. That external foot switch thing, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but the great news is you can use it without it. So if you prefer just to leave it on the red channel or the white channel on the left side, flick the switch and you won't need that external foot switch at all. That would just be something else I'd need to bring to a gig. But as it stands, man, very good tones. Let us know what you think. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Catch you soon. See ya.